Doggy Scoob. Nervous? <laughs> Shh, something coming. Now relax, old buddy. It's not that ugly shark god. But who's that ugly shark god? <laughs> Sure is a long way down to the water. Yeah. Coming back, I sure hope they have an escalator. Watch out for that loose step, Daphne. Jinkies, it's pulling away from the cliff. Oh, no. What do we do now? Hold your nose and start counting backwards to Splashdown. Scooby. Sorry, I'm sorry. Shark God. And repeat after me. Geronimo! Okay, nobody fear. Bono is here. And when we hear that thing coming, everybody put a shoulder to the rack and push. Now, all we have to do is run for our lives! The sharks, swim for your lives! What's the use? We can't outswim those things. We can't. What? How? While I was underwater, I took a closer look at our fine, finny friends. Swim over and I'll show you what I mean. Unlike an iceberg, the part you see above the water is frightening. Underneath it all, those sharks are nothing. Phony fins set on some kind of a float. Right. Each float connected by a chain to another float and a fin. The whole thing going around in a big circle into the hidden cave mouth, over there, and back out again. But why would anyone? Exactly what I'd like to know. Let's grab a set of fins and find out. Well, here's another fine mess you've gotten us into, Sonny. Picky, picky. Watch out! Help, Gangway! Sorry, occupancy by more than four persons is unlawful. Hey, you'll have to catch the next elevator. So this is where the shark fins go. And where the kelp dredger went when it disappeared. That isn't kelp that ship is unloading. That's the first seaweed that ever clanked. Right. It looks and sounds like gold. I wonder what's going to happen to it. We'd better start worrying about what's going to happen to us. That bucket crane operator sees us. Well, maybe he sees us, but he's not going to seize us. Underwater, quick! Looks like we found some kind of foundry. 